good morning uh, as we go through Holy Week um, this week as we head towards Easter thought I'd just bring you a little short message to think upon uh, for the next few days uh, it's gonna be out of Matthew 23 Jesus is uh, rebuking the Sadducees and the Pharisees that they are um, for what they're doing, how they're keeping people from knowing God. Um, and that's our Lord who does rebuke us when we we do things that that aren't right, that aren't holy, that aren't uh, that are keeping people from God. And even in that, uh, we see his compassion and I want to read out of out of Matthew 23 the last couple of verses. <clears throat> And starting in verse 37, it says, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones God's messengers, how often I have wanted to gather your children together as a hen protects her chicks beneath her wings, but you wouldn't let me. And now look, your household is abandoned and desolate, for I tell you this, you will never see me again until you say blessing on the one who came comes in the name of the Lord. So after rebuking the, the Pharisees and the, and the uh, Sadducees, the religious leaders, you see this picture of, of Jesus just looking uh, at the city, Jerusalem, and, and just wanting uh, to be able to come and, and gather her, everyone in it, around him and protect um, God's chosen people. As a, as, as a um, mother chicken would protect her hens. Uh, the, or the hens would protect the chicks uh, come in and just gather around her um, such compassion there that that um, Jesus has for his people yet in this he says I want to do this I want to but you won't let me see God in his infinite mercy and grace and, and in love has given us that choice to uh, either reject or um, come to him and make that choice and at this time um, as we see in the, the Holy Week that he comes in with a parade and by the end of the week he is crucified he is rejected uh, but God had a greater purpose in mind and as we read this it even says um, uh, for I tell you this, in verse in verse 39, For I tell you this, you will never see me again until you say blessing on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. And you may think that that's uh, when Jesus uh, rides into Jerusalem and they're putting the palm branches down and, and yelling, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. But, but this has already happened. So this is not talking about what has already happened. This is talking about the future. Uh, when Jesus again comes and sets up his... A millennial reign in Jerusalem when the Messiah returns as King of Kings and Lord of Lords and not a lowly servant um, but uh, we look forward to that day when that happens and that's our our hope in Jesus Christ that's our hope and and what he's done and what he said and as we go through this week as we see um, the week just turn worse and worse and worse in Jesus life we we see at the end of it that he is resurrected. He is alive. He is not among the dead, but he is the living. He is the God of the living. And Jesus' purpose was to go to that cross for you and I. And that's what Easter is about. It's a resurrection that we can have uh, new life right now. And when we die, uh, our bodies die, but we still live in Christ in a, in a glorious heavenly body, eternal body. Uh, with Jesus Christ forever and ever. And God bless you this week. Um, may you stay focused on him and in his word and just continue to uh, honor him in all you do. Let us pray. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to, to serve you, to know you, to let the Holy Spirit work in us and through us so that we may proclaim the good news of, of Jesus Christ to the world. We ask this through your precious name.
Amen. God bless.